ho, hold on a minute. What is all this? New construction in a historic building of downtown Alex City? We got your sneak peek today. I'm Paige with Lake Martin Voice Realty and I love Lake Martin. And I'm Jordan Johnson, Group Sales Manager here at Purcell Farms and I love Lake Martin too. <laughs> yes, so we're here touring Purcell Farms which uh, is about 20 miles from Lake Martin. And Jordan was telling us they are rolling out the most fantastic New Year's Eve package. Yes, so here on property we're doing dinner and then an invitation to a speakeasy and then we're going to do a fireworks show and a champagne toast at midnight. So we would love to have you guys. We have in room starting at just $1.99 and just bring your friends, bring your family and make it a really a new celebration for the new year. I think that is going to be really special. So let them know that you heard about it at the Love Lake Martin show and give Jordan a call at Purcell Farms. I'm Blake Dobbins, I'm the closing attorney with the Auburn and Lake Martin branches of Rely Title, and today I'm talking to you about cyber fraud, specifically wire fraud. So that's wire fraud especially is a huge issue in today's real estate world. The number one way you can protect yourself against wire fraud is to call and verify. Always call the party uh, that you're supposed to be wiring to, talk to them on the phone, make sure they're the correct person, uh, verify their wiring instructions before you send anything. It's a huge issue that is affecting millions of people over millions of dollars everywhere. Here at Rely, we have multi-step authentication measures that protect us against wire fraud. And at Rely, we have social engineering insurance, which most people don't have. Um, and that's a huge plus for us. It protects us from things that most people don't, can't be protected from. For more information, please contact us at rely.us. excited to be inside the Frosians Clothier. We're all talking about it. Fantastic historic building and you are the man we have to owe uh, to the rebirth of this amazing building. Well thank you. Yeah. Yes we're here with Keith Watson, uh, a native Atlantan. Welcome sure. to Alex City. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. Yes. Well tell us all about what's going on. Well, where would you like to start? That, that, that's, that's, a, that's a long story. I actually came to Alex City. I was working for one of our companies. I'm a marketing agency in Atlanta. One of our companies hired to, for me to write a ghost, ghost write a book for on a piece of an equipment, uh, medical equipment that is used by a practitioner here in town. That's how I started visiting Alex City uh, a little over a year ago, October of uh, last year. So coming down, I uh, spent a lot of time in the Hampton Inn here, locally. Uh, fell in love with it. Fell in love with the people, fell in love with the town. Saw a great deal of opportunity that was here and people that were hungry for something new to happen. Yes. Um, found this building that was in disrepair, to say the least, mm -hmm. and with a complete look and uh, had a neat backstory behind it. Uh, so I had a very good, big interest in, in purchasing this building and doing something. This was my 22nd building in a Main Street American uh, program yes. that we've done. So, but I ended up first buying the uh, 163 Alabama Street, which is where Harold Orthodontics is, and I redid that building for him. Uh, then came over, uh, then ended up going in partnerships with Tony Blanco at Coffee Corner, and then decided it was time to start on this building. And a little funny backstory on this was we weren't sure what we were going to do with this building. I just knew that 1891 when it was built, caught on fire in 1902, burnt to the ground, was rebuilt in 1905. Uh, some interesting history. So mm -hmm. then met with the Frosian family and was, was talking with them, great people, and, and they shared the history of the store, how it went through, the par early partnerships with the Herzogs, I believe, was the, was the early partners. And um, so we started demoing the black glass, if everybody remembers, that was on the front of the store. And, you know, not knowing what we, I was going to do, is it what I was going to put a restaurant in, what kind of store was it going to be, was I just going to rehab and put it up for sale or put it for lease. Well, when we got down to a certain level, and y'all can take a shot outside when we come in, we uncovered where it still says Frozen's Department Store on the front of this building. 
and to the best of our knowledge and, and from family history, about 1927 is when that sign was painted and covered up sometime in the 40s. Hadn't been seen forever. These windows that are here behind us, these six, eight foot tall windows have not been seen since the 20s, the late 20s. They were bricked up and completely covered up because this was display all through here um, from, I'm not sure when, I just know in the 20s when they started using this. So no one had seen this area at all. We took this back from a painting that's in the mayor's office. He's got an oil painting in there and this is what we kind of based off the window sizing, spatial uh, differences and, and everything going through. So once the building refilled, kind of revealed itself to what we wanted to do, we went to the Frosian family and we asked permission to still use the name because, the Fro because this department store was a huge cornerstone for this community for 120 something years. Uh, they graciously and, and excitedly uh, granted us permission to do that, and, and we can't thank them enough. We, every time we get the opportunity, we really like to say thank you for that. Um, so we're looking for another 100 years here of that and to bring something that we feel is needed in Alex City. But we'll be opening up a restaurant down uh, at the airport uh, where we're going to try to revitalize that area, which was once apparently a lot more thriving area it is. It's got a cool little, I use the word amphitheater, that may be a little grandiose for it, but it's got a nice pavilion, a nice little green area. And if, if y'all are familiar with what we did at Coffee Corner, on the weekends we do entertainment. We sit up and we do concerts out there and karaoke and trivia, and it's been a big success. We're just limited on space. So this restaurant will be a little bit upper end restaurant. Uh, we'll have a lot of outdoor spacing. We'll have the, um, amphitheater, if you will, uh, t to hold our events and stuff in. So it's a really great thing that we're hoping to revitalize that, that side of, of town as well to bring, because we, we need that. And I think, again, it's, it's not competition, or it is, I guess it can be seen as competition with the other restaurants. I'm not doing it to put anyone else out of business. It's a different style restaurant that's coming in, but no one's going to eat at my place our Jake's, our coffee corner, our JR's every single night. We need variety. We want people to come from everywhere else and let Alex City be a stopping point. We could not be more thrilled to have you here. You know, the question always is, how are we going to get new business here? How are we going to attract new people? Well, you've just told us how it's done, and we are 100% behind you. Can't wait to see what you do here. Well, thank you very much. We appreciate it. And we'd love for you to come back when we get a little bit closer. We'll be doing some soft openings and some reveals. You guys can come back and do a little walk through and, uh, okay. and take a look. I know about 20,000 people who would love that. Great. <laughs> thank you. Well, I want to give you a gift this year, and that is a referral to Crew Lending and our favorite mortgage person, Trey Callaghan. Trey is thorough. Trey is experienced. Trey is low key. Trey knows his business. So whatever it is on your list of things you need and desire in a mortgage broker, I tell you, Trey's got it. Give him a call at Crew Lending and you will be happy you did. We're the Bass family and we love Lake Martin. Every year we try to take time and reflect on the state of Lake Martin real estate. This is my favorite segment every year. What has gone on with real estate? So one theme that we realized with all parts of this real estate review is size matters. And one place particularly that this is, rings true is in your boathouse. What you will learn when we look is that if a boathouse is older than say probably 10 or 12 years, there's a really good chance that your newer boat will be too large for older boathouses. So when we look, let's be sure to um, evaluate that. And for my sellers out there, we absolutely want you to get the biggest bang for your buck on what could be one of your biggest assets with your property, your boathouse. So let's properly evaluate your boathouse and price it according to today's standards as well. One thing people love about Lake Martin and always have is that we have a lot of level lots, especially compared to other southern lakes. Well, we have really turned the trend into steep lots and maximizing that value 
uh, this year and in the future years. Builders have now become very astute to how to maximize your waterfront values by one idea, using the driveway as your primary landscaping. Steep equals deep. The steeper the land, the deeper the water. Also very sought after here at Lake Martin. We are proud of our waterfront property here at Lake Martin. And I'm here to dispel a myth that all of our waterfront is at least a million dollars. Our least expensive waterfront property sold in 2018 was less than $100,000. And we have broken a barrier that we haven't seen in over a decade, where now we have two properties pending over $2 million. So we're excited to work with any buyer that's interested in any slice of sunshine at Lake Martin, whatever the price range is. And if you are looking to sell your property, there is a market for you and buyers. We have the least amount of inventory that I've seen in a December in at least five years with less than 200 waterfront homes on the market. And we have a pipeline of buyers that are looking to find the home that you have been contemplating selling for quite a while. Time of year also is a factor for 2018 and we're learning that that really doesn't matter. Lake Martin more and more is becoming a year round lake. For example, we have sold 263 waterfront properties this year and 26 are pending right now, end of December, 2018. That tells me there's not just a short window to sell or to buy your home. We've got fantastic properties listed and ready to buy all year round. And we work all day, every day at Lake Martin. I'm excited to work with you in 2019, whether it is to sell that home that you've been contemplating on when the perfect time to list is, or to buy the perfect spot and start making your Lake Martin memories. What is all this? Nobody says, or shoot, that was almost a good one. Okay. Well, every year we try to take a pause and think, no. What is going on inside the old Frosian's Clothier? Clothier. Every year we pause. We really do. Boom.